Hey guys, it's Mega Maniacs here back with another video. And today we will be reviewing a really cool set. Uh, this is an older Mega Construct set. Today we will be reviewing the uh, Warzone Wasp. This is an older set when Warzone was new in Halo 5. So we have two. Two, well, really, one figure and one really big figure. Um, or a big fig, if you want to say. <laughs> Hunter. And then this really cool sip. Like, this is probably my second favorite Mega Construct set. I, I have to say, this sip is insane. I have to say, this is probably my second favorite. It's second to the UNSC Infinity. But it still has its flaws. I mean, it's Mega Constructs. They, they, they're still on pretty new company compared to lego so they still have their flaws but this is still an amazing set an amazing model of this sip in the universe it seriously is i i, I love this sip it's an awesome sip in game and in the universe so yeah let's go ahead and take a look at those figures and get on to this big old build here is the spartan Aslan fig he is a now, if you know me, I if you watch some of my older reviews of Mega Constructs, believe it or not, I used to be a full Mega Constructs YouTube channel, and now I'm um, <laughs> almost a pure Star Wars channel at this point. But this is the Aslan, who is an amazing figure. Uh, it's no, not amazing. It's a pretty. It's my least favorite thing out of the entire set. Is what I meant to say. Um. Yeah, I just not a big fan of this at all. Um, I I'm not a big fan of Aslan. If you watch my old reviews, you see me bashing Aslan. I just don't like it. This kind of helps since it does have a dirtier, more battle worn um, look to it, with the speckles in it. Still, it's still my least favorite part of the entire set. Um, yeah, I mean it's not. It's I don't hate this figure. It's the best Aslan they made. But again, I can't. Just something I don't really uh, like Aslan in universe and, and game. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of this in universe or in game. It's just not the best figure. Um, his accessories, though. Boomco weapons. Um, yes, these are the Boomco skins for the weapons. I actually have the Magnum, the Boomco Magnum. <laughs> I actually do have that Boomco Magnum. I don't know where I got it, but I have a Boomco Magnum. And actually, I do. It's not just this version. I have the thing. But yeah, two Boomco weapons. That was a bit of a surprise. I guess skins in Halo 5 for Boomco. So I guess they just put the Boomco weapons in here. I guess so. <laughs> so you can see him with the two weapons. A Magnum and an Assault Rifle, honestly, these skins are pretty awesome. I, um, the uh, Assault Rifle really does fit with the figure. The Magnum does look a little out of place since it's a bright lime green accessory and the figure is a dark red. Okay, but this figure is that the accessories are really cool. Figure, figure gets like, it's, it's a pretty good figure. It's just my least favorite thing out of this awesome set. This thing is also my favorite thing out of the set. The Elder Hunter. Now, we never got another a, another Elder Hunter. This Elder Hunter was exclusive. This thing is terrible, though. But, yeah, this Hunter was exclusive. This silver. This really bright, shiny silver. This is what I wanted from the Warthog Runs Hunters. Because, if you saw my review of that, it's a pretty crappy one. <laughs> to be sure, it's a pretty weird one. I don't really like that video. I never really go and try to rewatch it because it's kind of torture. These, my old reviews are weird. But, you can see. There's actually some eye printing. This collar printing. What I wanted from those hunters, and I still would have wanted from those hunters. Because there's, those are the only new, other new articulated hunters. And, of course, you can move these and, like, do whatever that was and stuff. Yeah, this is a really cool fig. I really like this big figure. Big fig, almost. Um, um, the 
it's this one has the blue. It's not. It's keep in mind this is not a normal hunter. So where he shoots the laser, the sealed. You still can't get the full. You can sort of get it now with the sealed, which also has like some really fine pur purple with pink lining, which is awesome. <laughs> and then. And then up the the upper sealed has those two. It's a pretty cool figure. Looking on the looking on the back, you see the uh, spiky horns, which are just soft plastic. They're just soft, soft plastic. Um, they they do only go in one specific hole. Like each of these go in their own respective holes. So if you try to put one in the uh, on the other hole, it doesn't really work, so that's also an- This is annoying, okay? You try to move this, and it, like, like spins and it falls off. I don't- I don't understand. These things, they're- they're annoying. It's nice for display. D display, but it's not really too nice for just basic play. Basic play here. This is not good. But, yeah, for display, this is a really awesome figure. It's probably my favorite Mega Contract figure. It's just such a cool figure. It's so cool. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go on to the build. Here's the build. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of noise. I can't really do anything about U-Hauls. But, yeah, there... Here is the, uh... Um... The, uh, Warzone Wasp. The actual Wasp itself. This vehicle is perfect. It's it's not perfect perfect because there are some flaws and there is some really interesting flaws with this set but if you look at it straight on the low hat which just goes up there's this which if we flop down you can see there's a control panel and a seat if I can sit this down we take the, there's a place to put these later, okay? So they're not going to be sitting around, so. Um, we'll get to that a little bit later. Now, if we sit the figure in here, he does just kind of sit in. Um, you can try to get him to hold these if you want to. He will reach. Um, and then you can just flop up the control panel if you want. Flop this entire piece down. And then secure it with a lax. Yeah, so, this is a really interesting function. I love this function. It's so interesting um, with the way this works. And now he is piloting the Wasp. And now there are these two. And something popped off. That's an issue with this set. But you can see there are two turrets in the front. You can see there's two of them. You can lift them up for just shooting at the air. There they are. Um, you can shoot them at anything, really. This is an air step, so you can turn them down to shoot at, like, grunts or elites at the bottom. Or you can do this. I don't know why you would want to do this. If, like, there's, like, a fancy flying over you. I don't know. Um, but these don't work. But these do. These are kind of, like, the equivalent of these. So... They're pretty much the uh, Mega Contracts equivalent to a spring-loaded shooter. There's a little activator right here. You shoot it, if, if it will shoot. And it just disappears. Somewhere my curtains. <laughs> oh, wait, it's over here. Okay. So, it just suits one of these fully red projectiles right out. It doesn't really bother me that much. It's just sitting there, and it doesn't really bother me. If you were new to Mega Trots, you probably wouldn't even know that those were a... If you saw this, wouldn't even know that those are actually shooters. Two of them. Um, this is what fell off. This is an issue because the entire weight of this set is balanced on two little pieces. Two little wings. Which is why I have a bunch of clear pieces... All of my Mega Construct clear pieces holding this set up on display. So it's not that aren't on the Infinity. They are just holding this set up. These. These are the only thing that are holding the set up. Um, there are these really interesting fans, which you can spin the fan. And you can also turn the fan. And that broke off. That's 
to be expected. Um, you can turn it all the way upside down if you want. I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that, but you can. Um, and stuff is breaking. I have to say this set is really good display-wise, but sitting down, you definitely need a lot of clear pieces. I know it's making me sound like this set's awful, but it's not. Um, um, I don't know what this is supposed to be, like an engine or something. I'm not quite sure. Here is the uh, place where you put the weapons. The UNSC print on this side, and then on, on the other side, the same thing. I'm not even going to acknowledge that. You open it up, you can open it up on both sides. A little bit of light. And there's a little compartment. And that compartment is not like troop transport or anything. It's just so you can put your accessories in and put them somewhere. Um, this back area is actually cool. There's a bunch of prints. There's two fuselage like things that you can turn them down and then you can turn them up. It's pretty interesting. So yeah, that's about it for this build. Nothing too fancy here. It's just it's just my second favorite Mega Construct set. It's an awesome set. Very sluiceable if you want to, like, so if you want to, like, do something like that. I don't know, but you could do that. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm a fan. I'm a definitely a fan. I, I just love the way this is. Um, I don't like the pieces falling apart, though. That is an issue, but yeah, that's why I have a bunch of clear pieces to hold this up on display because it won't stay on display. I need clear pieces to hold this up on display, so. Yeah, that's about it for this set. Let's go ahead and go on to my final opinion. So I got this set for my birthday in November, so I got this set for my birthday. So yeah, I got this set for my birthday. If you want to get it, now you're paying around 80 to 90 dollars if you want to get this set now 80 to 90 dollars on amazon for this set it is kind of expensive but i think it's well worth it with the pretty size size this this thing is pretty big it's a lot of building just plating and stuff there's a lot of really cool intricate building I know it doesn't look like it, but there's quite a bit, even on the other on underside when you look at it, there's quite a bit too. That actually is building of this set, and I think it's pretty worth that on Amazon. Plus, you're getting this awesome hunter, and if you're a fan of Aslan, you're really going to like this set, because you get the Aslan. This is a pretty interesting feature here, where you, there's a little latch, and you open, I just took the entire top off, but you can open... You took a cockpit and everything, and then you have your Aslan you can put in there, and awesome. It's, it's a really awesome vehicle. It is. It's really awesome. Um, of course, my least favorite part is the Aslan figure. Just not a fan of that in universe. I am a big fan of this hunter. I mean, this hunter is insane. I love the way this looks. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Tomorrow... It's part one of my part two um, um, series on building uh, the TIE Fighter collection. Not building, the uh, reviewing the TIE Fighter collection since it's been built for like a month. <laughs> a month now. It's crazy. I love it. So yeah, that's it for this review. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.